We are heading for energy crisis no matter what, and this energy crisis is going to be unlike any energy crisis in the past. It's going to be very big, it's going to be large, it's going to cover the world. The suffering is going to be massive for several reasons, because the crisis in the 70s happened because of lack of investment while demand was going through the roof. Uh, and uh, we've seen a part of the decline in, in uh, investment happened because uh, oil companies, because of the uh, independence of the oil producers at that time, and some countries like Iraq and Libya nationalized their oil, the, their oil resources and they kicked the Western companies out, et cetera. So the companies realized that there is no tomorrow. And because they realized there was no tomorrow, they stopped investing. They just stayed there, produce as much as they can until the final day came in and they left. So we have a gap in investment of several years that led to the crisis of the 70s. And then the embargo happened, uh, but the embargo, if you want to look at the benefits of the embargo, one of the benefits of it is because it was a political event, it instigated nationalism in the United States and Europe in a way where people cooperated with the government programs. And they said, you know what, those Arabs, you know, the media was full of those articles and this stuff. We don't want to be controlled by the Arabs. Then we are going to do this, we are going to do this. And they embarked on massive programs that reduced demand substantially in this case. So that's the whole story of the 70s. Now we have lower investment. That's going to continue because of the green programs, carbon neutrality, et cetera, on one side. And then because of the Russia and Ukraine, this is a major event, by the way, is going to uh, uh, in the energy history. And the reason why it is a major event is not because of any cut or because of the embargo on Russian oil or gas or the impact of the war itself. Simply Putin single-handedly delayed the green policies in Europe for seven, eight years without even intending to do so. How? Basically, in, in several ways. One of them is now everyone is scrambling for gas, so they are going to depend more on US gas instead of, of the other projects. People do not realize that the substitution between oil and renewables is very limited, and in Europe is almost zero, simply because oil is rarely used to generate electricity uh, in Europe. So oil is safe on this side. So it's going to be the gas, but they need the gas is coming from other countries. But on the other side, we've seen now rich countries and poor countries around the world shifting subsidies from green energy and, and electric vehicles uh, to uh, subsidize food and fuel. Because simply the result of the war was higher fuel prices and higher uh, food prices. And governments are worried about re-elections. So they are shifting subsidies and therefore all the green energy projects got delayed. 